So today we've got the Canon Sure Shot Owl. This is not a high-end camera. It's, a, it's an 80s, maybe a 90s, probably a 90s, point-and-shoot Canon camera. There's more than one version of the Owl, I think, but the, the cool thing about the Owl was this enormous viewfinder. And if you have tired old eyes like mine, an enormous viewfinder is just such a pleasure to look through compared to, say, a, a, a Kodak Retina, which the viewfinder is, you know, or a lot of those old cameras, the really old cameras, you can't hardly see through them. And, and even, even for the time, the point and shoots generally didn't have them this big. They were, they were easier to see through, but, but this was just really big. This is just like for your great grandpa who wants to take pictures and still has his glasses on and everything. I don't know. <laughs> I love the size of this viewfinder. Um, so point and shoot, it's not a zoom. It is a zoom. It is a zoom. To, to, to activate the camera, there's no power switch. You just open the uh, lens cap and that actually engages the, the film uh, loading. I loaded the film without the lens cap open earlier or, or later. I loaded the film, as you'll see later, with the lens cap closed and nothing happened. The film didn't advance when I closed the back until I opened up the lens cover and that activated the camera. Now there is, oh my God, I don't know what that is, <laughs> time out. So I'm learning this camera on the fly because I don't like doing a lot of prep work. The buttons on the front are not a zoom lens. This is a fixed, probably a 30, 35 millimeter, 4.5 lens. The two buttons on the front, one is a flash button it's either a flash on or a flash cancel, I'm not sure which. And the other one is, okay. It looks like, it's hard to see. It's really hard to see, especially when I'm off camera. I think the one is a flash cancel button and the other is a, is a flash all the time button. We will, we will check that out. Uh, it's autofocus, which is nice. You know, cheap point and shoots don't always have autofocus, but this one does. And here's the window that it uses to uh, sense focus. Um, and as a, as a bonus, this is the Marlboro version. <laughs> so I guess if you smoked a lot of cigarettes, you could get this camera as a prize for smoking so much. <laughs> it, it takes AA batteries, so they're easy to get. On top here is just a, a film rewind button, a really tiny one. And the other one is a self-timer. It has a self-timer and a film counter. Other than that, it's, it's a good feeling camera. This one's pretty clean. I don't think it was used very much. And it always concerns me. It was it not used much because it doesn't work or, or just because the person smoked too many cigarettes and didn't make it. Um, and it got put in a drawer and that was it. So we'll load it and we're gonna go out and play. Ready to go. I'll say it. Your run of the mill East Coast Beach really isn't that photogenic. But I'm going to run out and take a few pictures just to see if the camera works. Back home, got film developed. Um, just another quick close-up look at the owl. You can see the flash on and flash cancel buttons there. 
the uh, lens cap, autofocus, the huge viewfinder, the flash, self-timer, film rewind, counter button. Amazing price from Goodwill. <laughs> you just can't go wrong. I mean, Goodwill nowadays, they don't put out good cameras with low prices on them much anymore, but every once in a while, you know, they'll put something out. This thing, they probably just didn't realize that it was worth a heck of a lot more than $399, especially if it worked, which it did. Um, and and once again, this these videos aren't about my photographic prowess. They're just about using old cameras that I pick up for nothing. I used old expired uh, Fujifilm uh, 12 exposure roll, 100 speed. They used to be very readily available. We used to sell them at Ritz Camera for 99 cents a piece at the cash register. Uh, they were always sort of that upsell thing. Hey, do you need uh, film with that? Uh, here's a 99 cent right here. You know, we, we'd rather sold you the $5 36 exposure roll of Kodak, but you know, who's not going to spend 99 cents? And uh, I shot a lot of those uh, and still do. You can, I, I don't know about now, but I, I was finding them on eBay in, in bricks of, you know, 20 or whatever uh, of the expired film. But anyway, enough about the film. It actually, so whatever reason, this, this roll wasn't too old or wasn't stored poorly or whatever because the colors are good and, and, you know, things are reasonably sharp. And this is the, the pier at, uh, where was I, Surf City. Um, you know, uh, again, I'm not, uh, apparently I'm not a uh, landscape photographer, but you know, it's a clear picture. Um, I'm happy enough. The, the main <laughs> takeaway here is that the camera works. Um, very well. I mean, the close ups and far aways and I mean, that's pretty clear. I mean, there you go. That's pretty clear. It was sort of a hazy, cold week. It, it was actually an awful week to be at the beach because it was generally in the 50s and it rained a couple days and, you know, whatever. I had my daughter snap a picture of me and obviously I have not taught my daughter about composition because you shouldn't have all that room. It should have been a close-up shot from the waist up without all this headroom or at least don't cut my feet off. I do hate cutting off feet, but that's old guy without his camera. A um, couple I took after I got home of some uh, interesting falling down buildings. I, glossy, don't get glossy next time. But you know, the colors are good. And the autofocus was obviously autofocusing, which I've got a few older autofocus cameras that don't autofocus very well. And there's the lab I took my film to. It's the last shot of the roll. So, Canon uh, Owl, Sure Shot Owl, and this one here. Uh, if you find one, you're going to love that viewfinder because it's really easy to see through. And it's a, it's a, apparently it's, it's not a very bright lens. Now, a 4.5 lens is not very bright. You know, you're not going to be taking a lot of low light pictures with this thing uh, and having much success, but it's a wide angle lens. It's not a telephoto, so who cares? It's for taking pictures of you and your friends up close. Uh, you know, maybe a, a, a mountain range or who knows what. But anyway, you cannot beat four bucks for a solid quality film camera. Tripod socket on the bottom. And AA batteries. You don't have to buy some dang expensive... Did I say dang? Expensive uh, lithium battery or anything like that. You can buy AA's anywhere, which is also really great. So... Two thumbs up, Canon Owl, the first one I've ever owned, um, and I would recommend them, and I don't know if I'll keep this one or whether I'll sell it, because Lord knows I have plenty of cameras, but uh, thank you for watching, and old guy will be back with another old camera. Uh, I was hoping to do this more frequently, but life got in the way. Um, um, mom passed, dad moved in. Um, Got to spend time with Dad. Dad took over the old guy studios, <laughs> which is appropriate because, well, he's older than me. Uh, but we're going to do some more videos. I've got another couple in the pipeline, and I, I hope to see you all soon.